So I was initially going to make this video yesterday, but I really couldn't bring myself to do it because it was like 8 o'clock at night and I had been working all weekend so I was tired and I just didn't have the will and I was just so angry. But I've slept on it and um, I just want to get some words out and just put in my opinion to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to have any, you know, edits or anything like that. Nothing funny. This is not monetized before anybody gets any ideas. I don't even make money for YouTube. It's purely a hobby. But anyway, it's been about 18 hours since the shooting in Orlando, where 53 people were killed by a, a monster, a, a homophobic monster. And... See, this isn't the only person, this isn't the only thing we lost. Over the weekend we've lost another soul. Christina Grimmy. I, I'm sorry if I butcher her name, I, I'll be honest, I never watched her videos and it's only now I'm hearing about her. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to fabricate and say that I knew her, I watched her videos, I, I didn't. But like these poor souls, she was killed by a crazed gunman. At a meet and greet and when her brother tangled him to the ground the, he killed himself I don't know what's happened to this man who's killed these people I don't even want to call him a man me personally I don't consider people who murder for reasons like this people I don't they're beasts they're monsters they're not humans and I just don't understand. I mean, I am not a hateful person. I don't know of hateful people. I don't know homophobic people, or racist people, or sexist people, so I don't understand how someone can be so full of hate that they go in and take innocent lives. I don't get it. And I'm willing to bet that a lot of these people, they hadn't come out to their families. And their parents have just found out today that they were gay and it's too late. I, I just can't understand. I can't understand the hatred. I can't understand how, pe how people can be so full of anger and loathing that they would do something like this. I mean, listen, I want to make something clear. If you want to be homophobic, go ahead. Be homophobic. Be a miserable little arse who hates the world. But, and this is a big but, if you're going to be homophobic, don't ruin people's lives because of it. Keep it to yourself. Keep your racism to yourself. Keep your sexism to yourself. I don't give a fuck what you believe. Keep it to yourself. Just because you're full of hate doesn't mean you can ruin people's lives. It doesn't mean you can kill people. It doesn't mean you can make people miserable. It means that you can't... It doesn't make you God. It doesn't give you privilege. It doesn't give you anything. You can't do this. I'm Catholic. I'm a Catholic person. I don't give a fuck what people think. I don't care about abortion. I don't care about... I don't care about sexuality. I don't care about divorce. I don't care about women working. I don't care about any of this shit. And I'm not going to be the special little snowflake, the one little Christian or Catholic, whatever the fuck it's called, they're both the same, who says, oh, I'm different, I'm this, I'm that. No, there are thousands of us. I'm sure there are thousands of Christians, Muslims, Catholics, Jews, whatever, who are against this, who are against this hateful killing by this beast. Of these innocent people. I'm going to get made fun of relentlessly for saying that. But it's true. I, I know it's true. And I just can't get it. And one thing that frightens me the most. Is that this man was an active member of ISIS. We are at threat enough from this thing. We don't need this. And this is something that terrifies me. One man. One sick, twisted, miserable fuck. Killed 53 people. One man. If a whole nation, a whole group 
is made of these twisted fucks. It, it could be it could be completely destructible. If one man can kill 53, imagine how many a hundred could kill. I mean, think about it. And just the fact that this was an attack on innocent people, and this is something that gay people go through a lot. And I'm not gay. I'm not putting myself on a pedestal. I'm not speaking out for the gay community or anything like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the facts. Gay people do have it hard. I don't know what it's like to be purely hated purely because I'm a lesbian or I'm bi. I don't know what it's like to be hated because of my colour. I don't know what it's like to be hated because of my my gender. I don't know what it's like to be hated because of my religion. I don't understand it. If I was gay, what is that to any of you? Why should you all care? If I'm happy and they're happy, fuck you. I don't care. Why does it affect these people so badly? Why did, how badly did it affect this one guy that he would go in and willingly kill half a, half a hundred people? It boggles my mind. It makes no sense. And I, I'm sorry I'm getting so angry. I just feel very, very strongly about stuff like this. I mean, when I hear about school shootings or uh, mercy killings or, no, not mercy killings. That's fucking stupid. Um... Anything like that, people gunning people down the street, that attack in Paris, 9-11, all these things. These things get me really, really wild up, and I have to say something. This is the only time I've been able to do it on YouTube. Any other time, I've kept it to myself. But, I just want to say, I am a firm believer in karma. I firmly believe that it has an effect on everybody throughout all our lives. And, ah, uh, this man... All I want to say is, you miserable fud, I hope karma comes back and bites you so hard. I hope that something awful happens to you. And I'm not a hateful person. I'm not violent. I'm none of these things. I hope karma comes back and bites you in the arse and something awful happens to you. And I feel this way to school shooters, murderers, rapists, anything like that. I want them to die a slow and painful death. And that man who killed Christina, who killed himself, I want to resurrect him just so I can kill him myself. Um, I, again, I'm so sorry I'm getting so angry about all this, but I'm just really, really passionate about stuff like this. I can't understand why this happens. I mean, you don't see any other species do this. You don't see gorillas killing each other over stupid shit. You don't see dogs killing each other over stupid shit. It's us. And we're supposed to be the most intelligent for fuck's sake. And that is completely debatable. I, I know that's debatable. We're not the most intelligent. I don't believe we are. I know that we can talk. And I know that we can make houses and cars and all this shit. But I don't think we're that smart. I really don't. We can be intelligent. We have intelligent people. But people who are ignorant, hateful, miserable. Well, well, why do people hate gay people? Did I say that? Why do people hate gay people? And don't you dare say religion, because that is too easy. And I know that's a big factor, but still. What I don't get is the fact that people hate gay people because... Because. Seriously, it's just because. I can't think of any other reason. People say it's unnatural, when actually it is. You hear some, you hear some reports of gorillas doing homophobic, uh, you hear gorillas, um, homose being homosexual, you hear penguins, um, lots of different animals. So if they can go ahead and be homosexual, why is it so difficult for us to be so accepting? Like I said before, I don't care about anybody's sexuality, I don't care, as long as they're happy and their partner's happy. I really couldn't care less. Uh, I'm really burned out. Um, that's all I've got to say. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I doubt you did. Have a good day. Try to have a good day. Don't 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 dwell on this. I'm not going to. I'm going to do other things. I don't want to think about this all day. Anyway. 
hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. And pray for Orlando. And pray for Christina. And to the people who have lost their children in this tragedy, I hope God watches you. And you'll be in my prayers and my thoughts. And it, it should have happened. <laughs>